So Olaf, this is very important stuff. I hope you're paying attention. I am. Good. Hey everyone. Well, you know what time it is. It is time for What Would You Do? This book, if you haven't already gotten it, I hope at least you are paying attention to our playlist. We have a playlist um, for these videos. I believe this is part five at this point. Um, we're going back to What Would You Do? A Kid's Guide to Tricky and Sticky Situations, written by Linda Schwartz and illustrated by Beverly Armstrong. Now, in the beginning, we started out with things about at home. What would you do at home if these tricky situations happened? We're going back to at home. Here we go. You listening, Olaf? I know you are. I hope all of you are too. And I hope you come up with some good ideas. Now, this first one is about a prowler. Do you know what a prowler is? A prowler is someone uninvited that you don't know that's outside your home or where you are lurking about. It's nighttime. You're babysitting with your younger sister. She's sleeping and you're reading in bed. You think you hear someone outside the bedroom window. What do you do? Oh my. Well, that is a scary situation. And there's just, there's so many things that could be floating through your head. What are you going to do? Well, yes, the first thing you could do, if you can get to a telephone, a lot of us have cell phones at this point, or cordless phones or something around the house, call your local police department, sheriff's office, or dial 911. What else can you do? Well, something good you can do, and very easy, go around the house and turn on lights and televisions or radios really loud so they know someone's home. They might be thinking, hmm, oh, we could rob this house. You don't know. So this might turn them away. Oh, somebody's home. I got to run. Make sure all doors and windows are securely locked. Start with the ones on the first floor because that's undoubtedly where they would come in first instead of grabbing a ladder to try and hit the second or third floor. So. Make sure all the windows and doors are locked on the first floor, then head upstairs to the upper floors. Um, also, you should close those blinds, curtains, shades. You don't want them looking in. Mm -mm. Now, what else can you do? Well, what you should definitely do is while you're going around to lock the windows and doors, turn on outside lights if you can safely from inside. You don't want to go outside to flick a switch, but if you're inside and there's a switch for the outside lights, flip them on quick because that'll let them know someone's home or that you have some sensors, which would be great. You can also, a lot of times nowadays, see from an inside um, um, box who's outside, those ring doorbells and give us alerts and other kinds of fancy um, alarm systems will have a box that records or shows you who's outside. So that would be helpful too. And then of course, call your parents and let them know what's going on. Next scenario, a sick pet. That could happen at any time, couldn't it? One afternoon when you come home, your dog does not greet you at the door. You find her lying in a corner. She's thrown up on the kitchen floor and appears to be sick and no one else is home. Well, what can you do? Oh, poor Muffin, right? <laughs> poor Fido. Well, first, look around your house for something that your dog might have gotten into which might have made her sick, okay? If you see like an open bag of chips or candy or anything lying around, you know that's probably what your dog got into. If you find spoiled food, a household cleanser, uh, a pesticide, which is poisonous, pills, 
or anything else that might be poisonous for your dog, please call your veterinarian or poison control for the pets. Describe the substance and the dog's symptoms and ask what you should do. The vet will always have the best answers for that. They're gonna ask you what exactly you think the dog ate. And here's a true story. We had our vitamins and pills laid out in the morning on our kitchen table and somebody did not push their chair in. My dog hopped up on the chair, hopped up on the table and got to the, the um, pills. So you need to know what, you know what they might have gotten into. If you cannot find any evidence of poisoning, the dog may simply just be suffering from an upset stomach, which can happen to anyone, right? One of the best treatments for this ailment is letting the stomach rest. Do not give the dog anything to eat because what goes in could come back up again, right? Pick up the dog's food dish and place it out of reach, but definitely provide clean water. You want them to be able to access water at all times. Um, but don't try and make her drink. If she feels um, up to it, she'll go to the water bowl on her own. Then call your parents to let them know what happened. And of course, clean up the mess on the floor. Don't leave that for mom and dad. Clean it up the best you can. If it's on a rug, make sure, wipe it up well. And then that nature's miracle, spray that on, wipe it down you know what to do. Okay, last scenario for today. Personal illness. On the way home from school, you begin to feel sick. Your whole body aches and your head is really warm to the touch. Every step is an effort. When you reach the door, you're glad to be home, but you wish you weren't home alone, right, Olaf? What do you do? Hmm. Well, that's a good idea. Definitely try that. Mm-hmm. Yep. You guys are really smart. Well, first, you're going to call your parent at work or wherever they are and let them know that you're not feeling well and what your symptoms are. Hopefully, your parent will be able to come home early and help you out or send a neighbor over to, to aid you. But if not, at least they know and maybe they can bring something home for you on the way home. Um and ask them what you should do in the meantime. Now, definitely do not take any medications on your own without your parents telling you to, okay? So don't go in the medicine cabinet and try and prescribe stuff for yourself. Ask your parents if you can and how much of it you should take. You always wanna make sure that you take the recommended dose, not more um, than you're supposed to. Drink plenty of water, um, some light fruit juice could be okay, light colored soft drinks like maybe ginger ale for the, for if it's a stomach issue, okay? You don't want, you know, like, you don't want to do, you know, heavy things like um, Dr. Pepper or something like that, but ginger ale or Sprite might be okay. Get into bed, relax, and try and sleep. Um, that's your best medicine. You don't want to be up fooling around, playing around, jumping around. That's just going to make it worse. Rest is very important. And I hope you'll feel better. I hope that you paid attention to these tips. I hope you knew what to do, but if you didn't, I hope you're taking these tips into consideration. And of course, talk all these through with your family. They'll know um, what's best for you. And of course, they know if you take other medications that you wouldn't want to mix with, um, with things that are, might be uh, listed here. So have a happy and healthy new year, and I will see you soon at Kids Stories and More. Bye-bye.